Have you ever wanted to travel into space? Scientists from NASA and engineering company Lockheed Martin have joined forces to make it a reality. They're building a spacecraft called Orion to blast off to Mars in just a few years' time. Its mission? To carry astronauts to the Red Planet. The voyage to Mars and back again will take around a thousand days. Now, a video competition called Generation Beyond has been launched to design living and working quarters in space to give astronauts the best chance to survive deep space exploration. And it's children from all schools across the UK who've been tasked with the design mission. These Year Fives from St Joseph's Catholic Primary School in North London are taking up the challenge. I think the children are really excited by the idea that humans might be going to Mars in their lifetime. Patrick Wood from Lockheed Martin has come to the school to talk to them about taking part in Generation Beyond. Our Generation Beyond challenge is how do you build a habitat to actually go to Mars so that you can survive the three-year journey, you can go into orbit around Mars and come back safely? The children have been working on their ideas. They're making models of their habitation modules and thinking about all the problems the astronauts will face on a mission to Mars. The scientific knowledge that some of the children have in here has blown my mind. They've come up with different things to stop radiation and different materials that I would never have even dreamed of. The most difficult part for us was thinking about how they're going to get enough food and water. This is going to be the kitchen, but we haven't finished it. This is the computer room so they can con communicate with NASA. And then we made the solar system and the rocket that's going to attach to here. You need to think about how is everything going to stay on the floor and how are people going to breathe and how is everything going to work, really. The idea of going into space is something that is actually potentially achievable for these children. And the fact that they know that has really engaged them a lot more than just simply thinking about people who have travelled into space in the past. It's exciting because what we're doing here could, is just like pieces of cardboard and straws and stuff, but then it will turn out to be something real in the future if you win. I always had dreams going to Mars and different planets and living there, so it would be really like a dream come true if I could go to Mars. In another classroom, they've been getting inspired by watching virtual reality space footage. Return to base immediately. Copy, heading back to base. Oh, debris is coming thick and fast. They're writing space diaries, imagining they are on a journey to Mars. It's been six weeks and we haven't seen any sign of Mars. All we see is black sky and stars. I'm missing my family. I can't stay on this ship forever. Day 122. Amethia has just hit my rocket. It's quite scary if I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back to Earth safely. To wrap up the day, everyone is gathering in the playground for an exciting bottle rocket challenge. Which rocket will fly highest? It was really fun for you guys to come in and um, teach us some more about space. We definitely have some budding astronauts within this class, yeah. If you'd like to take part in the Discovery Lockheed Martin Generation Beyond video challenge, send us your videos describing your ideas at www.generationbeyondinschool.co.uk forward slash challenge. But hurry, the competition closes on the 15th of December. <laughs>